A day on the water is something we all look forward to. But with recent news of at least a dozen boating deaths in July alone. It's terrible. It's given people more anxiety than excitement. You're supposed to go out on the water and have fun, enjoy yourself. And for it to turn out in an accident like that is just... It's not what it's all about. Larry Scott owns Scott's Landing and Bait and Tackle store on the causeway. So he's no stranger to the water. Driving on the water drinking is the same as driving on land drinking. But you know, I see I've seen a lot of accidents and and not all of them turn out good. Just over halfway through 2019, it's already the deadliest year for boating accidents in over two decades. So far, at least 26 people have died, 13 alone this month, including Sunday's accident on Dog River. This year's number already surpasses all of 2018, where 17 people were killed in accidents on Alabama's waterways. The last time the popular recreation was this deadly was 1998, when 32 people were killed. There's a number of factors that contribute. That includes more people on the waterways because of gas prices being down and disposable income and population are up. In other words, more boats are on the water. Moving forward, there are ways you can prevent yourself from being the next victim. To just slow down and take more time and make sure that you're aware of what the rules of the road are. Take a boating safety course or take a review online. Freshen up those things if you haven't uh, taken a look at them recently. The agency also has a checklist online with items to keep on your boat. That includes life jackets, flares, lights, and other items to keep you safe.